At the end of each unit throughout our course, we're going to look at how the concepts we've been talking about work with multiple variables, not just having an x, but also having an x and a y, possibly an x, y, and a z. And so as we've been talking about functions and limits and rates of change, we're going to answer the question, how do functions work? with several variables. And basically, what we're looking at th at this point is just a new function notation that is no longer just f of x, but now it's going to be f of x comma y implying that we're taking two inputs into the function to get a single output. This is kind of like when you ship a package. It might be the price might be a function of the size of the package, and it also might be a function of the distance that you're sending it. And so two things impact the price. Here, we're going to take a look at two things impacting the result of a function. So for example, we could find the value f of 3 comma 2 if f of xy is equal to 50x plus 25y minus 2x squared minus 3y squared. Well, what this f of x, y notation tells us is the 3 is in the x place. And so each x is going to be replaced with a 3. And the 2 is in the y place. So each y gets replaced with a 2. And so we end up with 50 times x, which is 3, plus 25 times y, which is 2, minus 2 times x, which is 3 squared minus 3 times y, which is 2 squared. And then we're just simplifying this using order of operations. 50 times 3 is 150, plus 25 times 2 is 50, minus 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18, minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And so we have 200 minus 30, which is uh, 170 for our final simplified result. Let's do another example. Let's find f of, actually, let's not do f. Let's do a different variable. Let's find n of 7 comma 13 if n of xy is equal to the natural log of 2x minus y plus y divided by x. Well, again, 7 is going to replace the x's, and 13 is going to replace the y's. So when we do this, we get the natural log of 2 times x, which is 7, minus y, which is 13, plus the y, which is 13, over the x, which is 7. Well, when we do this, we get the natural log of 14 minus 13 which is 1 plus 13 sevenths. And the natural log of 1 we know is 0 plus 13 sevenths. And so we simplify down to 13 sevenths. We can use this extended function notation for multiple variables, not just for two variables, but for three variables as well we can find f of 2 comma 1 comma 3 
if f of x, y, z is equal to e to the x, e to the y, natural log of z. Well, we can see 2 is in the x location, so it replaces the x. 1 replaces the y. And 3 now is in the z location to replace the z. And so when we put it all together, we get e to the x, which is 2, times e to the y, which is 1, times the natural log of z, which is 3. Well, adding the exponents, we get e cubed times the natural log of 3 for our simplified result. We can even do some of the rates of change problems that we saw in our previous section with multiple variables. We can find the average rate of change in the y direction, which is f of x comma y plus h minus f of xy all over h if f of xy is equal to x squared plus y squared. Well, in much the same way we did before, we're going to keep the x the same, but this time the y is going to be replaced with a y plus h. So we have x squared plus the y plus h squared minus the entire function exactly like it stands, and we'll put it in parentheses, x squared plus y squared, all over h. And we'll simplify what we end up with, hopefully removing that denominator, because that's usually our goal with these rates of change problems. When we square the y plus h, we end up with x squared plus y squared plus 2yh plus h squared. Distribute the negative, minus x squared minus y squared all over h. Just like before, we see x squared minus x squared goes to 0. y squared minus y squared goes to 0. And so we're left with 2yh plus h squared all over h. Well, we know our goal is to get rid of the h in the denominator, so let's factor out an h, leaving behind 2y plus h all over h. And when we divide out that h, we're left with our simplified result of 2y plus h. This formula gives you the average rate of change in the y direction. But we can also do instantaneous rate of change by doing much the same problem, but taking the limit as h goes to 0. We're going to find the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h comma y minus f of x y all over h if f of x, y is equal to x squared, y squared. This time not adding, but multiplying them. This time you'll notice the plus h is on the x. That means we're finding the instantaneous rate of change in that x direction. So let's plug y into the function, but also an x plus h. That's going to give us the limit as h goes to 0 of x gets replaced with x plus h squared times y squared minus the original function, which is x squared y squared all over h. Well, if we square using our order of operations, we get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared multiplied by the y squared. Subtracting an x squared, y squared, all over h. Continuing with order of operations, we're going to distribute the y squared through. 
That's going to give us the limit as h goes to 0 of x squared y squared plus 2xy squared h plus y squared h squared minus x squared y squared all over h. And as you might expect, the x squared y squareds are going to subtract out to 0, which allows us to factor an h out of the remaining terms. Factoring out an h leaves behind 2xy squared plus y squared h all over h. The h's are going to divide out. And that leaves us with the limit as h goes to 0 of 2xy squared plus y squared h. We're finally ready to plug that 0 in. And when we have that 0 times y squared, it's just going to be 0, which means all that's left behind is 2xy squared. So it should feel very familiar, very similar to what we did back in the previous lessons. We just have more variables to keep track of as we do our simplifying. But the process is exactly the same. Our main focus is going to be just on using that function notation and plugging in values. We'll do a few problems with limits. Take a look at practicing these on the homework assignment so you come to class ready to discuss and look at applications. We will see you then.